Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will start talking about the image, uh, images and how to handle images, how to do um, some operations on the images. So in today's lesson, we will uh, have very simple lesson on how to view an image. This is the first thing and how to do hierarchical clustering on images. We will use two examples. We will use first the uh, domestic animals, very simple example, which is these following images. I will um, zip these images and keep them in, in, in the GitHub for you to download and uh, start playing with. Uh, also, we have another uh, very important example, uh, which is um, uh, downloaded from Kaggle under this link here. I will leave this link uh, in the um, uh, video description or listen description. Uh, this uh, example or this, this data set is very important because we will work on this data set in a few lessons. It has uh, dog, cat, pandas images. Each one has in its folder 1000 images. So under cat you, you have 1000 images, under dogs you have 1000 images of dogs and under pandas you have uh, 1000 images of uh, pandas these the flow three folders are under animals under animals you can download it uh, and uh, i will show you directly how to uh, use these images now we will use image analytics this panel here image analytics you can download it from here this is the image analytics uh, i have it here with me version 0.70 uh, uh, yeah, most likely they will update these images in the future so you need to download the latest one so you can have the latest functionality okay so the first uh, widget we will use is image uh, import image so with import image you double click and you choose which images you need to work with okay so here I downloaded let, let me show you what exactly I've done I have a subfolder here uh, called domestic animals it has these images inside the domestic animals so this is the first one so i'm gonna choose domestic animal okay the main folder and i'm gonna cl uh, click select folder okay it has now 20 images 20 images i can view these images uh, by doing view image or image viewer image viewer and from image viewer you can view all these images as you can see these are the images and you can um, uh, image uh, file type attribute you can make it as image or image name whatever you want the title of the attribute you can have image name uh, size image with whatever you want also but I will keep it as default values this is the first one the second thing if you uh, connect to data uh, table what will happen it will show you just a list of all these uh, images okay and it will show you the image uh, file name image uh, uh, name uh, the size of the image the width of the image and the height of the image okay so these are the uh, uh, data you will get from uh, directly from the image uh, the import images okay this is the first thing second thing we will need to do something very important which is image embedding image embedding will convert the image images into numbers so if you double click you will see different things uh, the image attributes which is image the embedder you can choose local uh, which will be transformed uh, transformed the images into numbers uh, locally or you can choose from here vgg16 vgg19 uh, painters d block uh, open face and inception 3 i will keep it as uh, squeeze net which is local one squeeze net okay uh, this is where it will change the images into numbers it will create let me show you by going into data data table i will connect this to data table this is the data table if you double click you will see all these uh, information plus 1000 more okay uh, feature 1000 features linked to each image as you can see we have 99 90, 000, 999 attributes okay these attributes will exactly distinguish each image from each other based on the squeeze net uh, local uh, which we selected from from the uh, embedder so we change the image into numbers 
so when we change image into number then we can start working with numbers we cannot directly work with images we need to transfer and transform the image itself into numbers so we can understand exactly what is happening with with this image okay so what we need to do first i will connect this to a distance distance Let, let's do hierarchical structuring hierarchical clustering and i'm gonna connect it to hierarchical clustering okay in the hierarchical clustering as you can see it's already based on the numbers from the image embedding it, it done this hierarchical for all these images to view this and make it very simple let me connect first this to image grid image let's let's first use the first one which is image view image view so from here you can open the image view and also you can open okay the hierarchical clustering okay so if you click in this cluster you will see that it picked up the most similarity images in this group which is c1 if you click this one here you will see all the images let's try to click into for example this cluster this cluster it identified the similarity images okay and you from this picture you will see that these are similar images anyway similar images anyway so uh, if you go up one level it will start pick up the more uh, images based on this uh, uh, cluster if you click more you will start collecting more images and so on and so forth if you click this one for example these are the similar okay images uh, as you can see if you click into this one here these are also similar if you click the parent you will see all these that these are in one cluster okay the most also important uh, uh, widget you can use is you connect this one with something called image grid image grid an image grid okay i will open this one and i will open image grid an image grid it what it will do it will uh, distribute the images based on similarities for example if i click c1 it's just two items they are uh, a little bit far away from each other but still they are in the same space if you click for example this one here it will redistribute the images based on similarity so these are the group of similar uh, animals these are similar animals okay uh, if you for example go into a smaller or a, a specific cluster it will bring you all the similarity images in the same scope in the same domain let's click in this one for example we have here two images let's take this one also we have two images let's have the parent these are the images but it has been distributed based in similarity if we choose for example uh, see all these images let's let's see all the images then it you know uh, it uh, 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 distributed the images also as you can see based on the similarities these are similar animals these are similar animals based on the shape and color and these are similar animals so uh, grid is very good actually uh, widget to use so first what we used we used from image import the uh, domestic animals but let's uh, now go into more advanced uh, example uh, by uh, uh, getting the uh, the second example which is cats and dogs i downloaded from kaggle cats and dogs uh, i will leave the uh, link in the uh, description of this video if you go to animals and if you go to animals you will see all the cats these are the cats 1000 cats these are the dogs 1000 dogs and pandas we have 1000 uh, 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 1000 uh, pandas so i will select this folder which is animals that has cats dogs and pandas and let's see what will happen so i'm gonna go from here i am gonna go for uh, for uh, cats and dogs i gonna select animals and then the subfolder called animals animals of course we have images we will use it in the coming lesson which is for a prediction but for now i will use and i will select the animals that has cats dogs and pandas folders i will click select and let's see what will happen so we have 3000 images we have here 3000 images three categories uh, uh, categories which is cat animal and dog three cat categorical uh, categories okay and it will start the building the image embedding as you can see it's now 40 50 percent completed 
and it will take maybe one minute or less to uh, convert all images into numbers you can click of course images view and you will see all these images okay uh, cats dogs and bandas as you can see here so once it's finished once it is now finished you can click uh, data table you will see that all these 3000 images it has now 1000 1000 uh, features 1000 features so uh, by uh, applying distance and hierarchical structuring i will click on hierarchical structuring this is the structure that has been created okay using uh, a signal you can use average if you want okay average maybe you will get more uh, uh, accurate results uh, than single let's uh, use in the linkage average okay and from here you can uh, see that for example this category is similar to each other okay these are similar to each other let me open uh, in parallel these diagrams let, let me click here these are uh, similar animals if you go up you will see that all these are similar animals so the hierarchical structuring or clustering it done the hierarchical base and similarity of the images from where it get the similarity from the numbers from image embedder from the image embedder widget okay let's go uh, maybe and take uh, more examples okay let me take this for example this one these are as you can see similar animals let's go for more these are similar animals let's take this one these are also similar animals from clustering so you can see exactly what's happening with the cluster the more you go up the more images you will get now let me uh, grab the image uh, grid uh, and the image grid it distributed the images based in similarity so these are similar images as you can see these are similar images so it distribute the images in this space based on similarity based on similarity but not but this is not the only thing that we really would like to do as data scientists as data scientists we need to do training on the images and we need to do classification and this is exactly what we're gonna do in our next lesson so this is for now we've been introduced into images how to use them how to view image how to use image embedder how to use image grid and in our next lesson we will start talking about how to do training on the images how to do prediction and how to get the results thank you very much and we'll see you in our next lesson